Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Rylan Russell here. Today, I'm just gonna let you go kind of behind the scenes as I do some photog photography work here at our Vacation Bible School. Just kind of walk you through what we're looking for as we take pictures around. And so uh, I'm not the best photographer in the world, but let's see what we can get. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is try and get some shots here of the entrance. I'm actually using a GH5 with a 35 to 100 uh, lens, which is equivalent to a 70 to 200 f2.8. And so we're gonna be shooting, trying to get mainly our volunteers facing us, not as much of the kids going in and out, but high fives, fun stuff like that. Let's see what we can get. All right, I'm at 2,000th, I'm on the spot. Focus. Hey, there's a, there's a, not a bad one there. We're gonna take it off. Auto ISO. We're looking at Alan's shirt there in the white. And so we'll see here. Be happy, Easton, okay? Give him a big high five. It's okay to kind of try and coach him if you know him. There we go. I have no idea if that focused or not, but we're gonna see in post. All right, so that's the idea for our outside shots. We've already gotten a lot of these over the week. So we're gonna go back inside to the opening rally, try to get some shots of people on stage, kids having fun. Let's go into the lobby, see what's going on in there. All right, we're in the lobby. We're just looking for logo stuff, volunteers being happy. Let's see what we can get in here. Try to get our logo for the VBS in here. Foreground-ish. Try a different perspective here to get Deborah. We're gonna go face right. Deborah, give me a big smile, okay? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna get some different shots of our mission project and our little photo booth set up here, just detail shots. Gotta use our logo of the event. Let's see if that'll work. Love that. Let's try from this side. Shooting against the light sometimes is actually better. This is the stuff that gets used on social media when we're saying, we raised this much for Project Hope Worldwide for school supplies for Mexico. So you just wanna have some of this kind of detail-y stuff if you can. All right, we're headed into the worship center. We're looking for shots of the leaders doing the motions and adults having fun with the kids. It's just some other fun shots that we can use to promo. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna go down the line of all these people doing the motions. Try to add some depth to the image. I'm at 125th, that should be good. We're gonna focus on this front singer. Looking for smiles. I like to compress it as much as I can. All right, we've got some pledges and the motto and our director's up there. I'm gonna try and get some good shots of her. Come on, smile. Seek truth. There it is. Find Jesus. Seek truth. Find Jesus. Ready for a okay. universe. Surely one of those worked out. We'll see. All right, so something that we have tried to think about and that you should think about if you're doing church photography with children is a couple of things. You have to get photo release. And so every child that signs up for our Vacation Bible School, there's a spot on the sign-up form where they give us permission to use their photos in a social media setting. Now, I think there's laws in different states and stuff where you can kind of get around this. And like, since we would have fair use, it's in a public area, the expectation of privacy is low. Um, but we just want to be above reproach in that. And so there are a couple of kids that have bands on their hand that tells us as photographers that we can't use photos that we get of them online. And so that's just the smart thing to do. If you're thinking about doing that, if you're photographing things at your church, keep that in mind. All right, so we're about to head outside for rec time. We'll see what kind of pictures we get. I think they're playing dodgeball, so hopefully we get some good ones. All right, so I've switched back to uh, man, full manual, ISO 100. I'll just adjust my shutter speed as I need to. And it's a little too early in the day to shoot into the sun, so I'm gonna probably shoot with the sun uh, right now. 
when it gets more golden hour-ish and it's kind of creeping over the building, then I'll shoot into the sun to kind of get those flares and stuff like that. But let's get some cool shots of dodgeball. I will try and get a little throw action. All right, I think we got something there. We'll see when we get back to editing. Let's go into the arts and crafts area and see if we can get some cool shots of the kids indoors. Did they do it on your drone? I think so. Did you like the drone? It, it flew and I didn't crash it, so. You, did you see it? Oh, you saw it? It got on the building. It didn't get on the building. Thank goodness. Switch to autofocus. We're on auto white balance, auto ISO. Wow. Hey, Walter, smile. So you got to be really quick with preschoolers. You have about 0.5 seconds to get the shot. Sometimes you have to go into the janitor's closet to get the picture. That would. Can you hold it out so I can get a good picture of it? Love it. Smile big. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed just kind of going behind the scenes a little bit of me taking photos for an event. And I hope you found it helpful, maybe. Um, obviously, there's a, lots of other photos that we get throughout the week. This is just kind of run and gun for 30 minutes of the first of the event. If you're liking this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. I hope it's helping my worship and tech friends that are trying to do this stuff at churches. Remember, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do them all for the right reasons. We'll see you in the next one.